everybody, how's it going? Zombie Freak 77 here today for a creative build. Uh, probably one of the biggest houses I've attempted to build. That moon just disappeared. Uh, we're on night because this house really looks a lot better at night than it does during the day. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll switch it around though, because I don't want you guys to to miss out on both. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is do a little flyby. It uh, has th two bedrooms, three bedrooms. I don't actually remember. Uh, there is a guest bedroom. There's a living room, kitchen, uh, big pool as you can see. Uh, took about ten hours to build. Changed a lot from the original idea. But we're gonna go for our little tour right now. So, uh, I'm using a lot of lanterns because they seem to pump out quite a bit of light. Here is the front door that we will see in a minute. There's little ponds on both sides, some vines growing. Out here is where you'll see the pool. I'll, we'll come back to that in a little bit. This is the garage. It's empty right now. Nothing too fancy about it. I didn't want to put in any uh, tools like the saw or anything. This isn't the kind of place that those would be necessary. Got the bushes and the tall grass over here. Little walkway. We'll do the walk around to the back first. Just because it's a little bit easier to do. We do have some doors that open up. Give you a little sneak peek of what's inside. I am using the Flows HD texture pack on PC with the Silders Advanced Shaders. That's the guest bedroom. We'll see more of that later. And I forgot to put a door on. Oh, and I forgot to decorate that wall. Okay, so that's two things I forgot already. Perfect. We'll get those out of the way. Because I always do that. Uh, inspiration. Whoops. Inspiration for this video. Um, I guess I, f I found a picture on Google that looked similar to this. It was a little bit more ultra modern, or it's just white and white and more white. But uh, let's go inside here. Is our main for you now? I tried to go with three colors: white, black, and red. And yes, I know white and black technically aren't colors; they're a hue and a shade. But I don't care. Those are the three colors I went with. <clears throat> We'll go inside. This is the living room, just a seating area. Nothing uh, too great in here. That's the television. Whenever you see that picture, that's a television. I'm going to say that the people that live here, uh, first of all, one of them's a kid, and the other ones, the father is a record producer and the mother is a model. We'll go with that, because there's an awful lot of pictures of lips around here, so, yeah, we kind of need that. Have the fires going here. This is a uh, triple-decker fireplace. It would be really cool if the fire would go just straight up, but nah. Here is our kitchen. Lots of cabinets. Um, I use the fence gate so this could be used for hanging your wine glasses because these two are obviously drinkers. The island is where they sit. They only have two spots because somebody wasn't thinking. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. There is a fridge. There's two ovens. There's a grill in here. That with the little vent above. 
Uh, this is a little bar area. These are drink mixers, dishwasher, the sinks. I'm not too thrilled with how this one turned out, but it's still pretty good. I should have put the kid's seat right there. Just pretend there's a little kid there. We had to take the chair away because she spilt ravioli on it, so it's getting washed. Professionally. Yeah, that's that's why there's no chair there. So we have an exit entrance here that goes into the hallway. Over here we have a little seating area. I like this. This is polished diorite, I think, in this, I'm pretty sure, in this texture pack. It reminds me of the old couches. Like I can feel this couch. It has the little ridges. I had one when I was younger, so... Hopefully you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. And we have two hallways. This one here has some doors heading out to the pool. This one does not. Uh, I think we should take this one first. There's the other entrance to the kitchen. These are Lily of the Valley. Uh, flowers. I believe it's new. There's the records that the man of the house produced and he has a little area here to do some work nothing too fancy lampshade there uh, we're not gonna go outside quite yet I used the black stained glass but I used white uh, window panes for the doors Coming up here, you see a little place where you can see out into the garden. This is the guest bedroom. Nothing too fancy. It has the the owner of the house's lips right above your bed, so if you want to be freaky. Yeah, the creeper doesn't like her. He thinks she's ugly. Nothing too fancy in here. It's just a guest bedroom. When they want to, they can get up, maybe go out, have some coffee on the bench, read a book. If you have a gigantic pool like that though, you shouldn't be reading a book. That's just me. Here's that exit to the outside. Nothing going on in the yard except for the trees that are in the front and this thing. I didn't want to decorate all that. Uh, let's see, coming up here... This is the bathroom. It's the only bathroom in the house. Um, may seem like a house like this size would have more, but it's actually not that big, and there's only three people. So there's the toilet, uh, toilet, toilet paper, the sink with the mirror, and the stand-up shower that has three shower heads. It's one of those crazy ones that I still want to try one day. One, one day. And this is the girls' room. The pink all around kind of gives it a, a female look, I guess, or, you know, whatever. I know some guys wear pink, and that's cool. I don't care. I just, it just makes it look more f female. Sorry. A little desk with all of her books. Some cabinets up there. Little window to look outside, no door to outside. Uh, some cabinets there to keep her clothes. And a little toy chest. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. Uh, this long hallway only has one exit out to the pool. We'll take a look at that in a second. I'll just show you the, uh, here's the garage. Not a lot of room to make a car, so I didn't bother. It's... I could have extended it out, but it would have caused me a huge headache. This is the master bedroom. And they have shelves coming in here with some books. They can put their shoes down here, their hats up here, or whatever they're wearing. Big screen TV with the couch there, and there's the bed. I tried something new with the lighting as you can see there's a lot of space up here 
but I wanted to kind of cover it to make this feel more enclosed and more uh, inviting. So I left this part open around the lights. And this one here, it's just right over top of the bed, right near the middle. Uh, I used the withered flower. I just like the way it looks. I know it's withered and dead or dying, but still. Looks pretty damn good. And the banners are being used for blinds or curtains, whatever you want to call it. Now we go to outside. Where you can see how everything looks from the outside in. Uh, let's go around here. We do have the towels. I use snow caps for that. You have to turn off... Uh, can't remember what it is. Something tick. Fire tick? Maybe? Uh, we have a little bar here where we have the drink mixer. You can make yourself some drinks while you're swimming because that's always safe. I didn't put any doors on this side because I just felt like it was overkill. If you can't walk from there to there, you shouldn't be swimming. Let's go around here. Uh, back here, these, I needed something to separate from the grass. So I put these in here and I figured we could just say they're drawers that hold the towels or sunscreen, maybe some safety stuff like a life preserver or whatever, although it should be up on the wall. Oh, there's a TV out there too to watch while you're swimming or relaxing little table and chairs here for when you have company and yeah that's about it guys it's uh i like it i don't know if you do maybe you do let's uh switch over to daytime here we'll just go into the menu choo, 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 doo, doo. Boom. So many buttons. Oh, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, let's do a little fly around. I won't go inside because there's no use. But you can at least see what it looks like on the outside while it's daytime. There is a lot of potential back here. Uh, Depends on what they do. I'm assuming because they're a record producer and a model, they're not home very often, so it would just get regularly mowed by somebody and... Yeah. I went with the red sand and the dead bushes in there. Just different look. And then let's go down to the pool. Nice and clear. Uh, I think it's terracotta down there. I don't remember which one. I didn't put a ladder in here. Uh, it looked a little too rustic for this. I'm trying out different designs for how the pool would look. Uh, usually when I was growing up or even now I see pools with just a light blue and that's it. But yeah. That is all. I don't even know what to call this. It's not a mansion because there's only three bedrooms and one bathroom. But it's huge. That's for sure. Just a large modern house, I guess. I don't think there's anything else, guys. That is going to be it. should apologize for not putting out a video <clears throat> on Wednesday. It was supposed to be this, but I couldn't finish it in time. I finished it earlier this afternoon. I don't want to leave off there. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.